tutorial on how to get Armour 2 content in Armour 3. If you're worrying if uh, the Armour 2 content will look like horrible in Armour 3, it actually looks pretty good. It seems like the developers might have done something to the the like uh, the engine that they're using so that Armour 2 content could be just easily dragged and dropped into the Armour 3 and look just as good as the Armour 3 stuff. Obviously it's not going to be the best because there's some things that are like glitches and stuff obviously because you're changing engine for the content but um, most of it's pretty good and you get to eject out of the new helicopters that you put into armor 3 from armor 2 and I find that's pretty good and there's a parachute now if you eject out of them so that helps uh, so how to do this you will need to go to start computer where have you installed armor 2 so if you have a steam I don't have steam I got the disk version but if you have steam go to steam if you don't, just go to where you installed it. Mine's on this drive. Go into here, go down to Bohemian Interactive, Armor 2. Then go to your add ons folder and copy all this into a folder like this one. So if I just minimize that, copy it into that. And this is the mod folder method that you would put into Armor 2 and Armor 3. Uh, and I mean that as like a way to install mods, not what you actually do with this. So what you do is you get, uh, make an armor at armor2 folder, then inside that you make add-ons folder, and inside that you put everything that's in the add-ons folder in the actual armor2 directory. So and then after that, uh, go back to here and go to where you've installed armor3, so mine's on armor3 is on this one, the steam drive, go to steam apps, common, then armor3, and then this is where you're going to be putting it. Obviously, I've already done this, so I know what you have to take out because you can't implement everything in this in here into the armor three because it will overwrite some stuff like the water. You won't be able to swim. You'll be using armor two water and armor three, and that looks terrible and it like glitches out where you can't actually swim underwater. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go in this, and while I tell you which ones you need to delete, um. Uh, just delete them. <laughs> so, okay, let's go up to the top. Uh, we need the A10 and stuff. Uh, we go down. We don't need aim and anim anims. I think that's what it is. Like animals, but anims. Yeah, I don't need that. So you delete all of this. Uh, buildings you need. CA you need, characters you need, Shinaris you obviously need that, that's the map, dubbing, uh, do you need dubbing, yep you need dubbing, language you need, misc you need, misc2, modules, yep modules you need, uh, missions, you don't need the missions, so anything up to here, all the way down to here you don't need. Just delete that. Oh, and go back up. This one, you don't need editor. Either. Yeah, it would be there. It would be here. You don't need editor either. So delete that. Uh, go down to P. Yeah, you need all the plants. Because of seeds, so you can get the plants, roads, sound. You don't need the sounds. Oh, you do need the sounds. My mistake. You do need the sounds. You need the signs as well. The structures you need. Tract. You need. Utes obviously needs another map. Uh, I'm pretty sure you need the warfare. That's just more content. Uh, water, that's what you do not need, you don't need water, because I know that specifically, as that will screw up. Delete water. Yep, delete water, all of the water. From here to there. Uh, weapons, you will need, wheels, you need, and that is it. And then, once you done that, deleted everything, you go into, uh, you drag this folder 
into your armor free directory uh, so we go to Steam, wherever Steam is, uh, Steam Apps, Common, Armor Free. Drag that into there, then launch Armor Free. I'll do that now. Okay, now we're in Armor Free, and first of all, you need to go to Options, Expansions, and activate at Armor 2, which is the mod folder just activate it which will say here like enable and then it will say restart and you put you click restart now and then once it's restarted you'll see some little error things press close or go to editor and choose a map Shinaris, Stratus, you could choose Stratus but I'm going to demonstrate Utez because that's actually one of the maps that we installed right go on Utez Okay, we're in Utez map editor, so uh, close that, if that comes up, it's just saying about the water, a little error, but it always comes up. Uh, what you want to do is you want to double click, go to blue 4, one thing you should never do is you should never spawn in uh, people from UMC or CDF, you know, from stuff from Armour 2, as that will crash your game, you just didn't, uh, put down the people from Armour uh, Armor 1. Armor 1, Armor 3, uh, because they use the physics and these ones don't. Uh, probably other things as well. You, you know, you're getting the textures and everything. There's probably more to it than that, but that's all I know so, so far. So uh, click that, that's your player. Double click, go to blue 4, uh, or go to side, empty. And then you've got all the stuff that was in Armor 2. A lot more than you would have in Armour 3. So let's go Colors first. You've got Tractor that was in there. Shinaris Tractor. Let's click that one down. Put that one there. Uh, we could also go on... Go on Air. That's pretty much the stuff I want to show you. Air. Uh, let's click ones that we would not have. Click that one. Uh, that's a pretty good one. Uh, click there. And then show you some of the objects so ammo basic or we could just use this go with the US basic special weapons actually US basic weapons because that is guaranteed stuff from arm 2 so let's just save this just for test reasons preview should little takes a little while longer than arm 3 map to load uh, cancel that bit, doesn't matter. It's just saying about textures. So, see, look, you've got the plane here, or the helicopter, which is pretty good. Let me just uh, change something. Right. Uh, yeah, as you can see, look, this is the uh, helicopter from Armour 2. Uh, same textures and everything, but it looks pretty good with the new lighting effect on it. <laughs> you got the tractor same thing pretty much and basic weapons let's try out the weapons uh, it comes up just like the other one there's obviously a big glitch error there you've got the M9 some guns don't show up with a actual like picture next to them but they they still work so I mean if I change this with that one you see this and then oh it swaps over but I could easily bring this one out Guide down its scope. Same textures and everything. But I think the gun looks pretty good. Even with the basic armor 2 textures. Yeah, guide down the scope. It has no ammo. Right. Rearm. There we are. Reload it. Reload's pretty much like a normal gun. Got first person when it does it. Bit glitchy, but yeah. But it has the same gunshots and sounds and everything that you'd hear from Armour 2. Like that. Uh, so if you wanted to like drive this one, just normal drive. Get in. 
drive it. Obviously the hands don't move. Oh, and I can't drive. But yeah, it still works. It's a bit glitchy. Especially for like the seats and everything. Because it's not actually specifically designed. It's still pretty good. And you can eject now. It's like if I went into this helicopter. Used the oh, everything pretty much works in here. These screens work, and everything's pretty good. Can eject now. Lights on still. Work. I think there's lights in this. I'm not too sure. Probably not. Part two. But yeah. And there you go. Flying up. Flies normal. And it's pretty good. And I just crash, yeah. But I hope you liked it otherwise. <laughs>